Hi guys, welcome back and today I'm doing my haul video for January because now that we're about a week into February I realized I actually never filmed it. So let's get started. This month I bought eight books. So the first book I bought this month was Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. I read this book a while ago. I have not read Lola or Isla yet but I found this at the bookstore and I had a little bit of extra money so I decided to buy it because I remember really liking the book. And they didn't have this copy when I read this book. They had the other one that had like the girl and the guy on the bench. But this one is so much prettier and I love it and I needed to have it on my shelf. So I bought it. Next I bought was the 10th anniversary edition of Looking for Alaska. I do already own this book, but I have the old version that's paperback and it has the candle on the front. I got it as a gift from a teacher that I TA'd for in high school. And I absolutely loved this story. So when I found out that this edition was coming out and that signed copies were going to independent bookstores, I just had to go find one. I always go to an independent bookstore. I found one recently and I love going there, so that's where I buy all of my books now anyway. And all of the copies they had were signed and it made me so happy. So I have a green Jay Squiggle, as John Green would call it, and now I get to put this next to my signed copy of The Fault in Our Stars, which I am really excited. And also with this edition, without the dust jacket, it looks beautiful. Instead of being like the papery kind of traditional hardcover like you would normally see, this one is shiny as you can see from the glare, but it's also got the smoke on it here. And on the inside cover, it has the labyrinth and it's on the back cover as well, which is a big part of this story if you have read it and I am so in love with this copy of this book. The next book I got was Vicious by V.E. Schwab. This copy is the UK edition and I think it's so much prettier than the US edition. And my wonderful friend Alexis got this for me for Christmas and I loved it so much. This book is amazing and I found out there's a sequel coming out like next year I think and I'm really excited about it. The next book I got was Orange is the New Black by Piper Kerman. And this is a book I see all the time when I go into Target, and it's one that I've been wanting to pick up. I haven't actually seen the Netflix series, but I've heard amazing things about it, and I've always wanted to read the book, so with some of my Christmas money, I bought this. The next book I got was We Should Hang Out Sometime by Josh Sundquist, and if you want to know more about the story, I talk about it in my wrap-up, because I did read it this month. And if you want to check out Josh Sundquist, he does have a YouTube channel. I'll leave a link down below. The next book I got was Talk to the Snail by Stephen Clark. And this book is about living with the French. My aunt recommended it to me. She basically told me I needed to read it, so I picked this one up. And I haven't really read it yet. I haven't even opened the cover, but it looks interesting and sounds kind of funny, so we'll see how that goes. Next, I bought The Secret Diary of Lizzie Bennett by Bernie Sue and Kate Rorick. And I just started this one. It's the companion novel to The Lizzie Bennet Diaries, which is a web series here on YouTube. If you haven't watched it, I highly recommend that you do. I'll leave a link down below to the playlist. It's phenomenal. It's a modern adaptation of Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice, and it's phenomenally done. And so far, I'm really liking the book. I'm not that far into it. I just started it a couple days ago. And the last book I bought this month was Silver Linings Playbook by Matthew Quick. I keep seeing this on a lot of booktube channels and I've seen the movie, I loved it, and the book sounds really good and I've heard amazing things about it so I'm really excited to read this one. And normally I don't like movie covers of books, typically I try to get the original if I can, but this one is really pretty and I really liked it. It has Jennifer Lawrence and Bradley Cooper on it and they are beautiful, beautiful people and this copy is just gorgeous. So I'm actually okay with having the movie cover for this one. So that's all the books I got this month. Let me know what books you picked up in the month of January. Please like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye!